Aaron Taylor-Smith is with us. Give us a report, uh, a summary of the progress you feel the team has made this year. You know, it's, it's a steep learning curve, bringing a new car into what I would describe as the most competitive championship, touring car championship in the world. Um, and I think we're, we're inching closer to what it needs. There's been flashes of promise, like I thought Jack obviously did very well at Brands. Um, and we're waiting for our day to come. So I do think there's the, the promise of what it can do. Um, I think it's very high. I think there's good potential in it, and I think the engineers that are involved within the team of what Tony has created are, are very, very good. Um, and I, I think this could, this weekend here at Croft will be hopefully another turning point where we unlock another half a second in the chassis. Um, because we're only chasing a couple of tenths here and there to actually get us to the very, very front. So, no, I'm, I'm certainly, um, I'm very happy with what they've been doing. Has the three-week gap hmm? between the, the, the Thraxon meeting and here been useful to the team? It has. So the car has got kind of, well, stripped back to a bare chassis. Everything, they, everything even got repainted. Silly little things like that, it all makes such a difference. They even got a test at Brands last Friday. Um, I wasn't there to do it, but I know Jack was, and we kind of played around with a few things on damping and a few other little bits that have unlocked more performance. Because um, that's the thing, like when you when you look at a touring car from the outside, you don't realise that there's 10,000 parameters that are inside of it that have to align for you to find a half a second. Um, and we're just working through the programme of what it takes. And I think that's what's nice about it. Like it's everyone down with Team Hard is are as hungry as I am to win. And I know that day will come. So the three weeks have definitely, it has allowed them to catch up with everything. I think the next six weeks are pretty intense. Um, but at the same time, it's been a, yeah, it's a good start for everyone. Everyone seems to come here and, you know, and likes this place. It's a favourite place. It must have mixed emotions for you, though, because back in 2017, you were caught up in that big accident in, in, in qualifying, which was another demonstration of how wonderful the support teams are around the Touring Car Championship. Is it a tough place to come back to for that? Not really. If, if anything, I'd probably say I'm more excited to come back here than I have been at any other weekend. Um, and I think you tipped on it. The support staff that are within the championship are genuinely second to none. And only when, I think as a driver, you almost take that aspect of a championship for granted. You assume that that role will be filled by someone who is capable. But I, I was speaking to someone only yesterday, and I think what blew me away the most about 2017 was, yes, it was a big impact, and it didn't, I wasn't in a great way, shall we say. Um, but the weeks preceding it, they were constantly in contact with me, arranging doctor's appointments, getting me in touch with the best specialists. I was blown away. I would have thought it would be, okay, I'll see you next time out. But actually, you know, Dr. Trafford and all the staff within the championship, you, I can't thank them enough for it. You know, and I, I say, like, they did save my life on the day, which is a pretty unique sentence to be able to say. Um, and they're staying in the same hotel as us, so I bumped into them on, you know, it was the night before last, and, you know, the whole joke of oh, returning to the, to the scene of the crime. Um, but I love this place. I love Croft. I actually, I think I got my first ever car racing win in the Clio Cup here. So it's, it's always been kind to me. Um, and there's a, there's a part of me that you know you do this sport to to put yourself against adversity um, and to see how you'll perform under pressure. I probably can't think of a better pressure cooker environment than coming back here. So. I love it, I welcome it, and um, yeah, I think it's, it just adds to the excitement of the weekend for me. And I think it was a while after the accident, obviously, uh, that you actually learned exactly what that medical team had done for you. It was, you know, and even to this, only earlier on in the year, my wife Lauren caught up with them um, and actually got the ins and outs of what it was actually like on the day. And, you know, I, you know when you look at the car, from the outside and what you see of the crash of the photos, you would have assumed there was a fatality in it. And I think it's a credit to the championship and the regulations and the safety side of this series. But the team on that day, you know, I didn't realize that these guys are all the top of their fields around around the UK in, you know, head trauma specialists and in, you know, all that side of it. And you don't realize that. You turn up and you think, they're probably first aiders, I don't know. Um, but actually, they're the best in the game. Um, and that's what's nice. And you see them, like even in our hotel, there must be 12 or 15 of them, but they're all great friends. Like they were sat opposite us having dinner last night. And I love the fact that they are part of this community as much as the drivers are. Um, and I don't think they get the appreciation they deserve. And only after something like that do you realize these guys and girls are um, the very best of the best. And it all means that you can all race with much yeah. greater confidence and um, we wish you a good weekend. No, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Aaron.